during this video we would like to find out the relation between the time taken as well as the formation of a ice on a ice pond you know whenever you consider an ice pond it will happen in such a way that at the bottom there will be water because of anomalous expansion of uh, water it has a 4 degree centigrade at the water so you won't get ice at the bottom so it will be 3 here 2 degrees here 1 degree here here there will be 0 degree centigrade from here onwards there is a formation of ice ice is formed on the negative on the top there will be a temperature less than 0 degree centigrade because of that cool breeze only this kind of in cold countries like arctic or antarctic this kind of phenomena like ice formation do happen so here is a formation of ice that happened that ice has a certain thickness and how this thickness depends on the time with respect to time how does this ice formation happens is the kind of a question that we want to analyze so we can say dq by dt rate of flow of heat through that is ka delta theta is the difference between the temperature here the temperature is zero yeah zero degree centigrade at the bottom minus minus theta at the top so ka delta theta by l l is nothing but the thickness of the ice formed i have called the thickness of ice formed as x dq equal to this much right so i can write dq by dt is ka zero minus of minus is plus so that is into theta by x now uh, of course i can take this uh, t to that side and in the place of dq i can write dq is the amount of the heat released basing on the definition of latent heat latent heat is defined as uh, amount of heat required to convert unit mass of substance from one state to another state at constant temperature as it happens in a small time in our problem at the mass conversion is also small so i am calling it like dm so i can write dq equal to dm into l so a dm is the amount of the ice that is converted into amount of the water that is converted into ice in a small time dt so mass can be written like volume that is dv into density into latent heat dv can be written like area into thickness of the ice formed in that small interval of time dq so here i want you to be careful to tell you to let you know that dx is ice thickness formed in time dt due to heat of dq let be, be let us be clear about it so let us substitute this uh, dq value in this equation so in the place of dq i can write area dx density into thickness by dt is there in the equation equal to k a theta by x so let us take the x to that that side x dx area can be cancelled that is there on both the sides therefore i need not write a area yeah so rho l by k i can write k by getting k to this side and uh, can be i can take uh, dt to that side theta also into the denominator is dt so in a small time dt ice layer formed is thickness dt thickness dx so i want that how does that happens with respect to the total time to get the total time and total thickness we shall integrate that equation whenever we know a small piece of information and you want the whole picture we shall integrate you know that so let's integrate this equation integral of dt equal to integral of rho is constant latent heat is constant theta is constant k is constant x dx where thickness of the ice is formed say for example from x1 to x2 integral of differentiation of time is time rho l 
theta and k are constants integral of x dx where x is varying from x1 to s x2 we have a formula in integration integral of x power n dx is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 we know that formula so i have written limits also so time taken can be written like rho l by theta and k x square by 2 where x is varying from x1 to x2 so i can write it as rho l by 2 can be written this two outside that uh, integration that is x2 square minus x1 square this is the expression that we need to know that's the time required so that the thickness of the ice uh, bed varies from x1 to x2 in this given time where rho is the density of the ice who is fixed head and heat of ice is fixed 2 is also fixed theta is the temperature on the surface that is also fixed k is the coefficient of thermal conductivity of that ice that is also constant from all this i can write time taken for the formation of the ice to increase its thickness from x1 to x2 is directly proportional to x2 square minus x1 square that's the relation that i want to derive in this video thank you for watching i'll see you again in the we can solve problems basing on this and find out the proportionality of times or a particular value of the time using this relation. Thank you for watching. We will uh, see you in the other videos next.